In this video we're going to take a look at installing a database program called InfluxDB version 2 onto our Raspberry Pi. Um, and there's a screenshot here of, of, the, of the latest user interface for InfluxDB. So this is where we're going to try and get to. So why are we installing InfluxDB? Well if you look at the two previous videos to this we've shown you how to install an operating system and something called Node-RED. So we're going to start working through connectivity and then adding sensors and measurements to, to this setup. Now, while Node-RED is very good, its primary job is to act as a, um, you know, an interface, creating some UX. You can start saving things to you know, CSV files and, and definitely push information up to the cloud. But um, if you want to save the data for any long periods and use more intuitive trends, then you need a database. And that's what InfluxDB is. So we're going to work through the, uh, the install of this over the next few minutes. We're going to use our remote terminal to install the InfluxDB software onto our Raspberry Pi. So please follow uh, the first video. I'll, I'll put that... Um, a link to that here on the screen now and um, uh, uh, make sure that you've got all of the uh, security shields enabled to allow us to do that. So I've already remotely connected and the first thing to do is to of course do a sudo update and an upgrade which um, I've already done um, and then we will move on to installing InfluxDB. Now it's quite a lengthy string but um, you need to, to paste for this next section so I'll put it into the description below and you should just be able to cut and paste that and put it into your, your remote terminal. If it doesn't work please let me know because it's probably something has happened with the storage location and, and I'll find uh, a new string. So let's paste that in. Um, it's getting the influx DB and you can see the, the repo where it's getting it from here but the whole command is here so just press enter. Um, and it will go through. I have already installed this, um, but you'll you'll see it going through the process now. Um, when it's finished, it'll come up with um, uh, a specific command, which you can see on the screen now. And now we're ready to go to to start running um, InfluxDB. So it's installed, but it's not running now. So the first thing we do is need to start the service. So we copy and paste this. This is a relatively easy command. So sudo service influx db start. And once we've done that, we can verify whether it's running. Well, there's one or two ways, but this is the quickest way. So we can use this command to see the status of influx db. And there we can see started, it's open. Now we haven't got any database set up on this at the moment. So we've got a location. Um, and we're ready to go. Now what you can see on the screen here, port 8086 um, is the port we need to use to um, see InfluxDB on our web browser. Now that that will be quite new. If you're used to the older versions of InfluxDB, the, the operating or the web browsers were a little bit confusing. This new one um, is quite nice and as I have already alluded to in other videos, you can synchronize your database if you have a, a connection to the cloud on this edge device, your Raspberry Pi, up to um, uh, InfluxDB in the cloud. So let's take a look now at how we um, open this on the web browser. I've now remotely connected to InfluxDB. This is my um, Raspberry Pi uh, URL, but you could put the IP address in and that's the port number. So if you were running this directly from the Raspberry Pi, you would put in localhost colon 8086. So to get started, we have to register. Um, we need a username. You'll need a password, um, organization here, and then um, the initial bucket name. That is where we are going to store our data. And you'll need to make a note of that because as we work through these exercises, we'll use a flow on um, Node-RED to push data to this bucket. Okay, So I'll set this up and then we'll start looking at some of the screens. So once you've put your login details, you'll have some options about starting to, to build 
your you know import data or whatever. Um, it's up to you what what you select. At the moment, we've got no data in here, so there's there's not much to see. Um, but just to to show you some of the um, the nice features now, we we have some dashboards that we can build um, in InfluxDB, and we have alerting, um, which includes sending out email alerts, and um, we can bring data from multiple sources. And there's some really nice um, helpful. We're going to push the data from Node-RED into this. Um, so to to do that, we we need to make a note. There's our um, repository, if you like, waiting to receive data. Um, the labels could be your process values. But again, if it works the way I expect it to, um, Node-RED will push the labels into here and the data will start populating. Um, it's been a long time since I've done it. I think you just need to put the, the repository name. And then when you've set this up, you've got a login and username. You put that in and Node-RED will push push the data in there for you. Um, if we go back to the top and we say load data, there's some really nifty examples here. Again, we'll work through these as we go through these videos. But Arduino, so we could have um, an Arduino, uh, an ESP32, for instance, with some sensors on. Um, connected by the same Wi-Fi um, and then we in here there's some example code for that will connect that Arduino straight into my InfluxDB database so I, I don't ha need any other you know interfaces in between and I can start saving that data from you know a very low cost ESP32 um, but with multiple sensors on so we've got no data to link to this at present, but um, hopefully you'll see as we work through the videos, we'll start building up this, this experience. But that's it for now. That's um, how to install InfluxDB. As I said, the most important thing is that string that um, you need to, to paste into your terminal, and that will do all of the work for you as long as you've got a connection to the internet, um, and then the few commands to start InfluxDB. So um, I hope that was useful. As as a, as always, please you know like this video and click on the bell for notifications. And thanks for listening, and hope to see you soon.